All right, so everyone, welcome to Kudl Kol Shira in partnership with Brazil.org and of course, Yeshiva Tara Shimon. Okay, so uh, uh, well, this is a very exciting parsha. All the parshas in in uh, a Sefer Devarim are very exciting because again, Moshe Rabbeinu is really giving us, you know, uh, the uh, the encouragement, right? <laughs> that we can that we can be success that we could be successful, um, and uh, in Mitzvah Hashem we will be successful. Anyway, so so the Torah gives us a, we have a lot of mitzvahs in this parsha. Wow, right? Rabbi Yehuda, you saw how many mitzvahs there are. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable. We have we have uh, uh, we have kisei tzei la mochama. Okay, then we have we have the the ifas toar right uh, the, the 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 rules on that right. And then we have, and then we have in the parsha we have uh, this thing with the ben so remora, right? The the child that uh, that's uh, rebellious, right? And then we have in the parsha also that if you build a new house, well, there's many more things, but we'll just talk about that. If you build a bias chodesh, kisivne bias chodesh va'asisa va'asisa make legagecha v'loy sosim. It's a very, very special, uh, very, very special mitzvah um, that when you build a new house and you have a, a flat roof, right? Right. I mean, it would it doesn't really work on all the roofs because uh, the, you know the roofs that we have, like you have in the five towns, most of them are not flat roofs, right? So you would never you would never really come up with you would never come up with the idea. Oh, hello, Dad. You would never come up with the with the, uh, I, the the need. You would never come up with the need to put a maka around a, a roof that's not flat, right? Because you can't you can't be on that roof, right? No one would no one would be on a roof that's not flat, right? If the roof is flat, so then you could be on the roof, right? Right, right. People used to take their beach chairs and put them up on the roof, and they would dream about air conditioning and the buildings, right? <laughs> years and years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, they were, but they, but you have to. So the Torah has a special mitzvah that you have to make a maka around the uh, maka around the the porch. It's a very interesting thing that and 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 Rashi brings this down. It's very interesting why why it talks about this kisiv nebayis chadash, and it's right after the it comes. We we also had the mitzvah of shiluah hakain. Right, sending away the mother, they're sending away the mother bird. Right, remember that mitzvah? It's a very oh, yeah. hi Ernie, how are you? Yeah, sending sending away the mother, se- sending away the mother bird. Right, so that's a very special mitzvah. Right, and we and we see from that that mitzvah gairerus mitzvah. Right, and you get the schar of the mitzvah. If you do the mitzvah of shaloch hakein, you'll have the ability to build a new house. And the building a new house is a nice thing. Right, cover up with a new house is a nice thing, right? And and now the Torah gives you a mitzvah that vasisa maka al gagecha put a put a fence around the around the roof, so therefore no one should fall off, no one should fall off of the roof. Okay, so let's see now. Vidosh Rabbi Seinuzal and the the Chazal teach us shaloi yigadel kelevra besoy besoy. Hey, look at this interesting. Chazal tell us. That you should not raise a bad, a wicked dog, a bad dog in your house. Isn't that interesting? It's talking about this also. Don't put up a, a rickety uh, ladder. Don't put up a rickety ladder, right? Because then someone may, may, may fall down, right? If you have a bad ladder, right? It used to be. It used to be in, they were, they, before that they were before that they were uh, staircases. So there they were actually ladders. People used to go up on a ladder. You wanted to go to the second floor. You went up on a ladder. Is that amazing? It's a, isn't it great that we have stairs today? What a chesed! What a what a what a what a chesed Hashem that we have steps, right? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Um, yeah, but yeah. Um, I'd like to interject. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but for a minute. That if you have a dog in your house, yes, a lot of people have it to protect. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Then if, yeah. If, if you have a vicious dog, if you have a wife, he's not going to hurt the owner. But if someone comes in, he's going to chew the guy up. No, 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 no. We're saying that we shouldn't have a kid. No, no. Caleb Ra means that you're, you're talking about an obedient dog. You're talking that you're referring to an obedient dog 
that's there that, that, that respects his master. But but how about how much how many how many times do you find you can you read in the paper you could hear that there was a that, that someone had a pit bull and the pit bull turned on their master, right? It happens, right? Uh, okay, I mean I I have not heard that, but if you say so. No 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 no. You can look it you can look it up. You can look it up that there are pit bulls that they're very very temperamental. And if they don't, uh, if the, the, the boy, his master doesn't give him his food right away, they, they, they may attack. Oh. They may attack, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, well, you, you're, you're, dad, you're, you're talking about a nice collie or a golden retriever or a Labrador, a nice friendly dog. Mm -hmm. So no, no, those guys, mm -hmm. those guys would never think of uh, uh, biting their master. No, but, but there, are, there, there are dogs that, that, are, that, are, that are mean. Uh, yeah, there are. Okay. Well, that's what Chazal say. You shouldn't grow. You shouldn't shaloi yigadel kelevra besoy beisa. Right? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't raise. You shouldn't raise a bad dog. So what's a bad dog? A bad dog that will will turn on people. Or let's say. Or let's say someone that. Or even. One more time. One second. Someone. Someone has a. Someone has a guest in their house. Right, you have a guest. Right, the whole point to have a house is so you can have a chnosis archim. Right, that's the point of right, having a house. Right, right, right. right. So now you have this dog in the house. And the guy walks and he bites the guy. <laughs> your guest, he bites your guest. So, so is that a good dog? That's not a good dog. No, no, of course not. Right. Okay. So, so again, that which we're trying to understand what a kelav ra. Okay, but that was a good thing. And you're right that when it comes to when it comes to the the, the average the average uh, dog won't do that. But the Chazal is telling us. Not to have a kel of ra, okay, and you shouldn't have a ladder that that is also a ra'ua that's a bad, uh, you know, a, a ladder that's not stable, okay. Key, uh, uh, what? That's what I said originally, right? Now the yeah, rickety yeah, ladder is a ladder that's not that's not stable. Because now let's look at this on a spiritual level. Because when you're trying to lift up nefashes, hanefulais, those souls that fell down, that fell down with sin, that yeah. fell down with whatever it is, shame bechinas balik tshuva v'geirim, ki aliyosam hu al yedei bechinas sula, they're going up on the ladder. Now, how would you know that? How do you know? Why would you? Why would they say it's a ladder? What happened by Yaakov Avinu? By Yaakov Avinu, it said that he was he was sleeping, and it said there was a mut a sulam muts of arasa. The Roshe Megia Shemaima, remember? Yeah. And the Malachim Oilim Viyardim, right? That's what the Torah tells us, right? Yeah. So we see this. So we see a ladder. A ladder is, 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 we can, we understand the ladder is referring to the ladder, the spiritual ladder, rising up on the spiritual ladder. And the ladder is a very important right, thing right. To, to understand. Why? Because when you're going on a ladder, right, it's, it's, uh, it's, un, it's very different than walking on a path, right? When you're walking on a ladder, so you can either go up or down. You can't say, well, you know, uh, well, I don't like the way this ladder's standing. I'm going to go a little to the right. Well, you're going to go a little to the right. It's not going to work out too good, right? <laughs> or he's going to go a little bit to the left. You can only go up and down. You can't go to the right or the left, right? Yeah. Right, okay. So that, that's how it is. That's how it is. This is how we, what we're trying to say. Ki shemalim ha-nefashim devil chayim b'chinas ba'alei tshuva v'gerim ke-aliyasam wa yadei b'chinas sulam. The same way it is like in the Gashmis, like I explained to you. You can't, you have to go on the ladder and you have to be, you have to hold on to the ladder, right? You want to make sure you don't slip off the ladder, right? You make sure your feet are, are, are good on the ladder, right? Okay. Right? If you, if you want to bring something up, uh, from the from the ground to the to the roof, right? You want to bring something up to the roof, so you're gonna have to have a ladder, right? You bring a ladder, right. but now you want to make sure that you have a pretty good ladder so it, it can support you and the package that you're trying to bring up on the roof, right? right. <laughs> So if you have some kind of a pit, right, or you have some kind of a, a, an opening, and you want to bring some, you want to get something out from there. So you do is you send a ladder, you send the ladder down, right, 
and then you make sure that the ladder reaches the bottom and it reaches on top, and then you can climb down the ladder into that uh, uh, pit, whatever it is to take out, whatever you want to take out. Correct? So far, so good. Okay. All right. Here we go. Maladero shop. The whole mash at Srikin Lahalois, me boy rice, Amukin be yoisa, Srikin, she are Sulam Chazak be Amuts be yoisa. So, so now, when you're taking something out from the pit, if it's going to be, uh, I don't know, maybe a boulder or something, you have to make sure it's a very strong ladder. Machma she'ilu ha nefotres, ha nefulay shenoflu, biyardu mi'oid mi'oid, bechines vatered peloyim, they fell down in a wonder, in a crazy way, bechines basay ba'amukye imayim, they fell, they went into the deep, deep water, they fell into the deep, deep waters, the deep water of sin. Especially now, at the end of the of this gullus, this bitter gullus that we're in, even though that these people, they're bali bechira, we're all bali bechira, right? We all have free choice, correct? Every person has free choice. We have free choice to do what we want to do. Hashem allows us that. He gives us the tree. Vadayin hatzar hatzoyra aleim. Oimed u mesisam lemash and mesisam, but uh, the tsar atzayra. That's what we said that we, we the the, the parshas now kitzetze la 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 mechama al oivecha. Why is it? Why is it kitzetze la mechama al oivecha? It should be al kitzetze al oiv. Why is it oivecha? Because we know that that's talking about the eight Sahara, right? Chazal tell us that that's talking about the Yetzirah. Aivecha, your enemy. What is your enemy? Your enemy is the Yetzirah. He's trying to knock us down all the time. That's what the Yetzirah tries to do. He tries to fool us, and he tries to, uh, to tries to, okay. Uh, okay. Bali Bechira. Vadayin atzah atzah alim ayimim v'meisisim. He's constantly seducing us. L'ma Hashem esisim v'kam v'kam v'taivos. With all kind of different desires. This gabrus atzum who become who become a day azaros and all kind of strange thoughts, all the kind of strange thoughts the government is trying to put into people's heads today. The eight says the 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 varos become who become a chalisha sadas and people just have they're very very they're very very fickle they get fickle minded they get very weak they get very weak because they don't know meribay haleitzonos shel hamalagim vacholk. So much, there's so much late sun, there's so many people poke fun at, at, at mitzvahs, chas v'sholem, and, 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 and they, and they try to, they try to do all these things, and we get a little worn out. People get worn out. Al kein tzarech ha'oseh b'tikunam, u'mishtada b'hatzalosam, lahamed b'china sulam bari v'chazak mi'oi, sh'layipol ha'noifel mimenu. So what we're trying to say is here now, so if you're going to go out there and try to help somebody, Right, somebody that, that that made the wrong decisions. You want to try to lift that person up, so they're telling you that you have to make sure that you, you you're on a good ladder, you're fortified, you're on a good ladder, you're fortified, so you shouldn't fall by yourself from from dealing with what you're dealing with with these people that you're trying to help. Balkin Sulam Gematria Sinai, Kamuva. How do you like that? Sulam is the same Gematria Sinai. Have you ever you, you see that? Sulam, right? So you take, you have Sulam, you have, you have, you have the Samach is 60, the Lamed is 30, right? So that's the 90, and the Mem, and the Mem is 40. So you have, so you have 130, correct? That's 130, right? And then Sinai, so you have Samach is 60, Nun is 50, right? So that's 110, and then, and then two Yuds is 130, right? 10 and 10, okay? He called Aliyasa Mu Ayadeya Taira Shinitna Besina. Because the way you're gonna lift them up, you're gonna lift them up through the Torah. You're gonna use the Torah if that was given to us on Har Sinai. Kibishvil Zed Nitna Taira Bar Sinai. That's why the Torah was put given to us on Har Sinai. Shua Sha Ha 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 Because Har Sinai is the lowest mountain, the most humble of all of the mountains. Harsinai never even thought, never thought that Hashem would ever consider giving the Torah on Harsinai. 
The Hasidim had never even considered that Hashem would want to give the Torah on it. Why? Because he's the smallest mountain. All these other mountains, Mount Everest and all these other big mountains, they're very big, tall mountains, right? So they thought for sure Hashem is going to give the Torah on them. But we know HaKadosh Baruch doesn't like the Balgaiva. Hashem likes, likes Anova, right? Humility. So the mountain was very, was very, very humble. That Moshe Benu is the tzaddik. Moshe Benu is able to bring down the Torah to Klal Yisrael to us today here down that we have the Torah. Through this idea of Sinai, which is the Sula, right, which is the ladder. In other words, Moshe Benu stood steadfast. Serving Hakadosh Baruch Hu. and Moshe Rabbeinu had different setbacks because of Klal Yisrael. But Moshe Rabbeinu stood there, and Moshe Rabbeinu pleaded for Klal Yisrael each and every time. Shu bechinas shiflus ayadei shu mashpilu moirid es atzmai betachlus ashiflus. Because how does that work when a person humbles themselves, lowers themselves, and brings themselves down betachlus ashiflus umegalgal atzmai bechol mine. Refes the tit the shvil lahalois as hanefoshlois hanefulois for umkei tohaim rabba, and that sometimes we'll have to run and and go through the the the, the mud and the and the and the and the and the, and the, and the quicksand and whatever the case is, the guy may have to go through in order to pick this guy up to lift them up. Me umkei tohaim rabba because they're so stuck down into the tohaim. Ulachaskam, the call mina his chaskos, and to lift them up and give them a lot of chizuk, and give them a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of strength. Ulashivam, the call mina matamim, and to bring them back with all the lights and meshivin as a nefes, achi yesharu al omdam bikidusha lenetzach, until they can stand on their own in holiness. They could stand by themselves on holiness lenetzach for eternity. So that's what the whole thing is. We go, HaKadosh Baruch Hu puts us out there. We have to go out there and we have to see and help people that, 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 that have fallen away. We have to help people. That's a very important thing to do. Right? The greatest... The, uh, uh, the Lubavitcher Rebbe... Uh, yeah. Bol uh, 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 Set out to do... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Lubavitcher Rebbe was amazing what he did by setting out and he, it's an amazing thing what he did. He said to, to go out there, put filling on the guys, and give candles to the ladies, right? Yeah. Amazing, right? Amazing. Yeah. Those two things, right? Those were his main things. Yeah. He also gave out cards. He also had special cards given out to, to, uh, for, to, for Goyim to teach them what the Zaya Mitzvah's B'nai Noyecha. You know that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, he had, he, he had printed up like, like they were like business cards. And they would give out business cards. Even going, okay, you're not Jewish? Okay, so take this. <laughs> you want to put on tefillin? I'm not Jewish. Oh, you're not Jewish? So take this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's mamish amazing. It's mamish amazing what the guys do. It's mamish amazing. No, again, because the tefillin, the whole idea of the tefillin, why, why, why tefillin? Again, tefillin teaches us to be humble. Did you know what? You know that tefillin teaches us to be humble? You know? Let me tell you, let me give you an idea why. You ever look at the bottom of your tefillin? The bottom of the box. Yeah. It's called the tato. It's called the tato. They call that the tato. The bottom of the box is the tato. So do you ever notice it's not painted? Yeah. Now that wasn't because, that wasn't because they, you know, they were trying to save a couple of, uh, uh, you know, a couple of cents and they didn't paint the bottom of the box. No, you're not supposed to paint it. Why? Because you're supposed to look. You're supposed to look at that, right? You want to look at that and remember. Wait a second. This is actually this is actual skin from an animal that was once part of an animal, and this animal was a a smelly being. And especially when they took the skin off the animal, how stinky it was, right? And mushy and st- smelly, right? And then they worked on it, and they worked on it, and worked on it, and it's a, such a process. But look how beautiful the tefillin are when they finish, right? They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Today we have tefillin. We can if, if, if Rashi, Rashi, we wear Rashi tefillin, right? I, Rashi would be would be so amazed to see the tefillin we have today. How beautiful they are! 
how beautiful they are, how square and how perfect and precise they are. Back then, in the time of Rashi, they didn't have such precise tefillin. Of course, they made them square, as square as they were able to make them. And they made the corners, they, the corners should be pointy, as pointy as they were able to make it. They did what they can do with the technology yeah. that they had. But tefillin really can help us to be, it can be mashpil a person. It can help to, to humble down to a person. It's an amazing idea, the concept. Oh, we also learned in Tefillin that uh, with Tefillin, the, another concept, why is the bottom not painted? Because the skin, that's the part that goes onto your skin, right? It goes, you put that onto your arm, right? The, the unpainted part goes onto your arm, right? Right, so because, because the, in the Tefillin, in the Tefillin you have the Parshias. And the Parshias are so bright, the par- Parshias are very, very bright. And and uh, the the light is too is too bright to be to be worn outside. If you wore it outside, the the parshas are too bright. They could be dead. The light could be too too damaging. So we put them inside the box. Not only we put them in the box, they sew the box up real tight, right? They sew, you ever saw that? You're filling the sewed up real tight, right? But when you put on the tefillin, the light can go into your arm. It can go into your head. But your arm is, is where is where do you where do you fill in? You wear it on your on your left arm for those of us that are righties, right? And we wear it pointing towards the heart. And why is that to put humility into the heart? How do you put humility into the heart? Because on the tefillin shel yad, you have the little yud, right? The little yud that's 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 tied with the with the ritzua, right? They tie a little yud, right? And that little yud has to be connected to the box, right? Why the letter? Why the letter Yud? So Rav Nassim taught us it's such an amazing idea. The letter Yud is really the foundation of all the letters. Every letter, every letter that a sofer writes, he starts with a Yud, right? If you're gonna make, he's going to make an Aleph. So the the, the the straight part of the Aleph, right? The 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 the, the 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 diagonal part is really a Yud, and he just stretches it down. He stretches the Yud. And then he take the the top of the, the 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 top of the olive is also a yud. It's mamish a yud that goes there. And the bottom of the olive is an upside down yud, but it's a yud again. And the bay is the same way. The top of the bay goes around, and he draws it right because again, if you have humility, you have all of the olive, you have the whole olive base, which means you have all of the brachas of the Torah is all through humility. It's all through humility. And the Yud is the smallest of the letters, the same way Harsinai was the small mountain, right? And because it was humble, so to this, if a person is humble, they have room to take in other people, they can, they can, they can endure other people, right? The people of Balagaiva, they can't deal with other people. They can't deal with other people's shortcomings, right? To be able to deal with someone's shortcoming, the person has to be a humble person, right? So that's what we're saying over here now, okay? Make sense so far? Okay, any questions? No? Okay, good. Okay, now, uh, now, you build a new house in order to dwell in it, right? That's why you have a new house, right? You have a new house because you want to live there. The main thing is to have, to make a, ba- a, a, a base hayeshiva. Build, if you build a bayis chadash, so really you can understand that really what's the important house? That's a yeshiva. Why is a yeshiva an important place? Because that's the, the main place, the lechadesham chidushe Torah. That's where you're going to come up with the new ideas and the new the new understandings in Torah. They bring a person to do good things. To save the person from doing all, all the ra that is in the world. Because the yeshiva is called the bayis chadash. How do you like that? Kisham oiskim lechadesh kedushei Torah. That's why it's a chadash. Why is chadash? Because you're making kedushei Torah. Amitim lechadesh sham nafshei Yisrael to renew, to refresh 
Nafshes Yisrael, the souls of the Jewish people, Ula Haitziam may hazikna the sitrach to take them out of the zikna the sitrach. Now, what is the zikna the sitrach? You must be asking yourself, what the what is that? The the zikna the sitrach is like this. The the, the Yitzhar likes to tell a person, eh, you're old. Why do you bother? Uh, what, what, what are you going to accomplish already? Uh, you, you're set in your ways. You can't change. No one can change. You, you're stuck in your ways. That's zikna the sitracha. That's the that's the side. The other side. The zikna the, the zikna the kedusha. Right. That tells you that every day is a new day. I'm a chadish betuvay bechol yom tov mid Every day is a brand new day. Every day I'm a brand new bria. Every day I'm a new person. So if I made a mistake yesterday, that was yesterday. But today I'm a new person. What does that have to do with what I did yesterday? I have to work on this today. Of course, I have to make true for what I did. But I have to be able to go on. How do I go on? I have to be have the zikna, the sitra, the 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 the, the, the sitra, the kedusha of the side of the sitra, the kedusha. Because he says over here, zikna the sitra, achem bechinas melech zokein uksil, melech zokein uksil. The the sitra achem. The other side, the Yetzirah is called the Melech Zokein. He's called an old king and a seal that he's a fool. He's a fool. The higher Aleyem. Let me turn the page here. One second here. Let's turn the page. The higher Aleyem. This is amazing to get to this. Here we go. Or HaChodosh Shemeyeh B'chol Yoyim B'chazdei Yisbarach ayadei atzadike ya emes shemeschatchem bechol yoyim b'schatches nifla al asher al yodam Hashem Yisbarach mechadish betuvay bechol yoyim tamid masibreish. You just said that in Shacharis a little while ago, right? You say it twice. You say it twice. You say that. You said that twice. You say that in the first bracha, and you say it in the second bracha in Abirchas Kriya Shema, right? Right before Avarav, you say a machadish betuva bechol yom tamid maase beresha. You say it two times. When you're davening Ashkenaz, Svard, Edi Charedu, you're davening Svardi. Everyone says a machadish betuva bechol yom tamid maase beresha. That means every single day it's a brand new creation. Every single day we're a brand new creation. Every single day we're new people. Every single day I can I I have I I I, I don't have any. Any, um, nothing's holding me back from before because now it's amachadish betuvay bechol yoyim tamid. What does that mean, bechol yoyim tamid? That means every single day regularly, masay beratius. It's a creation. It's a brand new creation. Vayekuhu legalay seemuna kedoshes etzara kolechad yismo lekabel alatzvi bechol yoyim mechodash. Every single person, every single day, has to accept upon himself. To be a new person, mechadash kamaisha kasa beparshas kriyishma asher aneichi metzavecha hayoyim. We just said that a little more, a while ago, right? Asher aneichi. Why does it say kriyishma? Asher aneichi that I metzavecha commanded you hayoyim today. Bechol yoyim. You beinecha kachadoshim. Every single day has to be in our eyes. We have to view each day. As we're mamish new people, isn't it amazing? Why does the Torah tell us like that? We say in the the Anshe Kenaisas Agdola put together a machadish betuvay bechol yom tamid maase bereishes, and then the, in, in the Kriya Shema itself it says Asher Neichim et Zavach Hayoyim. Do you ever think of that, Reb Shimon? Do you ever think of that? Hayoyim. You said today Hashem commanded you today. Isn't it wonderful? Bechol yoyim yu beinecha kachadoshim. Every single day has to be like a new day. Kamei shadarshu Rabbi Seinu Zal es Chazal Torahs v'zev v'chinas chadoshim la bekorim rab emuna secha. That's a pasuk that we have in Eicha. Do you know that? Chadoshim la bekorim. Chadashim, the newness in the mornings, Rab Munasekh that increases our Muna. Right? Behem Oiskim Lasis Bali Chuva Mitim Shu Bekinas Chodash Bekinas Hashivenu Hashem Elecha Vinna Shuva Chadesh Yamenu Kikedin. That's also in Echa, right? Yeah. Right, we end off we end off Echa that way. Right? And when we put away the Torah, we end off putting away the Torah that way every time too, right? 
Hashivenu Hashem Elecha Vino Ashuva Chadei Shivenu Kikedem. Correct? Isn't that amazing? This, these psukim, these psukim are amazing. What does that pasuk mean? Hashivenu Hashem Elecha. Hashem should bring you back. Should bring you back Elecha, and then and then Vino Ashuva. So what is this Vino Ashuva? Hashivenu means to bring me back. So what's Vino Ashuva? Do you ever think of that? Because Hashem should give us the will, the will to come back to Him. Okay, that's good, but okay, so that's part of Hashivenu Hashem Elecha. That's the will. We're asking Hashem, Hashivenu Hashem Elecha, Hashivenu, bring us back, Hashem. Vino Shuba, and then we come back again. Yeah, but because even though He gives us the will to do it, does it, that we shouldn't get distracted and then no, 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 right. down and not do it. True, but the noshuva so means have, that... We have to come through with it. Right, but the noshuva means that we came back again. The noshuva. It was the second time. Well, no, isn't that, isn't that the future tense? No, no, no. No, no, in... in, in no, uh, 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 and, and not the, yeah. The noon, that's in the future. Yeah, but but Chazal teaches us Vina Shuva means we're coming back a second time. Now, what does it mean? Okay. And Chazal uh, teaches us, Chazal teach us Vina Shuva means that we have to do Chuva ala Chuva. You ever hear that? Hashivenu Hashem Elecha means I do tshuva. Hashem, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. Vino tshuva, and then I do tshuva on the tshuva that I did. What does that mean? Here, listen to this. This is amazing. You know, when, when a person first finds out that he did something wrong, right? He doesn't necessarily understand the, 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 gra- the gravity, the gravity of that, of that wrongdoing. He, made, he doesn't understand it. So he says he's sorry. Right? But then when he learns about it, and he goes, wait a second, what I was doing, that was really bad. And that's the way I apologize to you, Hashem? That's the way I apologize? Uh-huh. Right? That's the way I apologize, remember? Remember like when we were kids, he said, you said that, that you, hey, make, say you're sorry. So, right? Say you're sorry. Right? So you say, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right? right? No, I'm sorry. Right? That was, that was, the, was he really sorry? <laughs> no, no. But when, but when you get, when, but 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 when, but when the person understands how bad the thing really was, and how 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 much he owes Hashem because of because of because of what he did, so then that can bring a person to do true on the truth. You say you're sorry for the way you apologized the first time. It's an amazing idea, right? To say you're sorry for the way you did true for the first time. I didn't do it with the right with the right mind frame, with the right understanding. Listen to this now. Uvishvil calls that Nikroyim Bate Bene Yisrael the Kedusha Bayis Chodash. And then all houses of Bene Yisrael are called the Kedusha of, of holiness is called the Bayis Chodash. Machmas Shekol Kedushosa Machmas Beis Hayeshiva Shu Bechinas Bayis Chodash Bechol Bechinas on all aspects. So anyway, you can understand like this also. When you come and you have in your in your home you, itself, so you take out your to, you take out your gemara, your learning, and every time every time you understand the gemara, that's a chiddush, right? Because you didn't understand it a moment ago, right? So you machadish new things by your understanding, right? You open the gemara up, you try to you're doing the daf, right? And you don't understand the daf, and then you work on it, you work on. It, now you do understand. Oh, so that was a chiddush. Right? Now you understand it. That's a Chiddush. That's Chiddush Torah to that person, right? Maybe it's not a Chiddush Torah to somebody else, but for that person, that's a Chiddush. That's definitely a Chiddush, right? Chiddush by Yisrael is Chiddush. At that moment, yes. Yeah, Vizel Bechinas, Vizel Kisivne by Yisrael, and Al Shub Shvil Lasa is Gerim Ubale Chuva in order to, to bring in, and again, why Gerim? Chazal tell us that why were we scattered around the world? Why did, Chaz, why did Hashem scatter us around the world? To make Gerim. Right? To make Gerim. Right? Now, how, we're, not, we're not going out there trying to make Gerim, but, but when we live in a neighborhood, and we, have, and we have Gentile neighbors, and the Gentile neighbors see 
how, how respectful we are and how kind we are and how good we are. So then they say, you know, I want to be like that too. <laughs> I want to be like that too. And that's an amazing thing, right? There are a lot of times that people, people became gayrim because they had, they, had, they had encounters with Jews and they were very positive and they sort of, this is the way Jews act. And they liked that, right? Ubali tshuva. Al yedei limudam ha-kodosh, right? Shekol ze nasa yedei beira amuna. Through the clarifying of our amuna. It's all about through a clarifying of the amuna, having clear amuna and understanding and understanding what hashkocha pratis is, how HaKadosh Baruch Hu is involved in our lives constantly. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there and He's watching everything. Why? Because we know HaKadosh Baruch Hu is inside of us, right? We all have a neshama Baruch Hashem, right? And the neshama we know is a chilek elikam imam. It's a part of Hashem. We have a part of Hashem imamish inside of us. So when we work on understanding that we have Mamash Hashem inside of us. The first the, the, the opening line of Shulchan Aruch, Shivisi Hashem Lenegdi Sami, to recognize that Hashem is always with you. Well, of course Hashem is always with you, He's in you, He's energizing you. So of course Hashem is with you. But to have that emuna, that clarity of emuna, put make for yourself a fence on your roof. To be metzam same yemoya, to to constrict your mind. In other words, our minds sometimes go wild; they run wild. Right? Why do people have a lot of anxiety today? Because their minds run wild. They're worried. Oh, well, what's going to be tomorrow? Or oh, what's going to be with this? What's going to be with that? How about you? No, uh, what? That's right. I understand that. Yeah, that's true. Yes. It's amazing, right? People have more anxiety today than ever before. Why? Because they have they have more preview to to news. Right, than ever before, right? You know what's going, everyone knows what's going on everywhere in the world today, right? <laughs> everywhere. You got to worry about everything in the world now. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's when you think you're running the world. You have to worry about it. But when you realize Hashem is running it and Hashem has everything under control, so what am I going to worry about? Why should I worry? You know, you get on an airplane, right? And, 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 and you know, I, we always talk about that. Right? And did you ever, did you ever, uh, you know, ask to interview the pilot? Did you ever say, hey, listen, I'm getting on this plane. I want to, I want to, I need to talk to the pilot. I need to make sure I want to, did, did you give him a breathalyzer test? Maybe, maybe, maybe he drank some, maybe he had some, maybe he had something to drink. Uh, maybe he had a fight with his wife last night and is in a bad mood now. I don't know. But we just get on the plane, right? You just get on. Why? Why? You don't even know if the guy has a license. <laughs> you don't even know if he knows how to fly the plane. But why did you get on the plane? You get on the plane because you're thinking like this. Hmm, this thing here costs uh, uh, about about a uh, uh, hundred million dollars, and uh, and uh, let's see. So if the if the uh, airline is entrusting their plane with this uh, guy, so he must know what he's doing, right? <laughs> I guess, right? Is that true? I guess, right? Yes. Right, okay. So so if we live so if we understand, so if we can if we can if we can so to say entrust in, in, in our lives in the hands of a pilot, right? If we can entrust our lives in the hands of us, so of course we can entrust our hands in the lives of Hashem, because Hashem knows exactly what he's doing. He knows Mamish what he's doing. That's clear Muna. Make a, so that's what it calls tzimtzum, tzimtzum amaych, and you have to constrict your mind to understand and have clear emuna. Uh, which is in Tinyon a lesson. Hey, right? Kishemalin, kishemalin lebechinas maych, and azay trich and lishmar as bechinas at tzimtzum shalamaych. When you start to think in your mind, you have to keep your mind in control. What's higher, greater than you can understand. Don't go there. Don't let the mind think and wander into doing the wrongful things. And there is, of course, on the right way. So we know, we know when Rabbi Akiva went into the Pardes, right? We know Alicia Ben Avuya. He told our Rabbi Akiva, said to him, don't look at anything, don't see anything. And Alicia Ben Avuya did decided that he was going to see. And look what happened to him, right? And the only one that went into the Pardes that came out unscathed 
was Rabbi Akiva because he went in and he had his mind and he, 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 he had every he was very very well focused and that's what we're trying to learn over here. You have to be mamish, very well focused. And how do you do that? By having a beira of emuna. When you have your emunas, that's clear. All right? That's what the maka, the mechitza, the, the fence, the maka that goes around, that goes around the roof. Bechinas mechitza is hamoich, and those are the mechitzas, the, 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 uh, the, the walls of the mind. Don't place blood in your home. Right? Because that's what the Pasuk says, right? You shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have blood in your house. You don't want the guy to fall. If we keep our mind by working on the mitzam, same the thought, by not going thinking about things that I shouldn't think about. Why did Hashem do this? Why does Hashem... Do? We don't think about those things. And of course, not to let the mind wander into the ways of, of Avev and the ways of the Sitrach. Of course, we have to keep the mind with Samson. Right? It's an amazing idea, Mamish, to keep the mind. It, it may, and then this way, you don't have to worry about being full of anxiety. You don't have to worry about all of these problems. Okay, uh, uh, here. So you can make for them. You can make for them uh, 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 different uh, different things of purity to keep the mind pure from from where they have fallen down. So they shouldn't fall anymore. That that's what it says in the Torah that we said from in the Kudimah. Vizer bechinas v'leisasim damim. Don't place blood. Ki yipol anayipol shetrich and lishmor as nefosos shalayipol. They shouldn't fall. Shezeru ba'atzmai bechinas ma shalamdu rabbi seinazal. This is what Chazal teaches us. This is what Chazal has taught us. Mizer shalayosim sulam raua. Don't place a ladder that's not that's rickety that's not stable. Why? Because you'll need that ladder. That ladder is the tzimtzum amoya. That ladder is to keep the mind straight and not to, to not to, to not veer from either way. The same way when you're going on a on a on a, on a ladder, you have to go just up and down. Same too in Yiddishkeit. We have alias and you read this, right? There are times that we have alias. That there are times that we feel very close to Hashem, right? Some days you wake up and you feel so close to Hashem. And then there are other days that you wake up and you don't feel so close to Hashem. That's the Yerida. But to know, to know that Hashem only puts us on a Yerida in order to give us his L'tzorich the Aliyah. Right? Hashem only gives us a Yerida only to help lift us back up. He never wants to, he never wants to push us down. Hashem is not trying to ever push us down. Hashem tests us. He wants to see, are we ready to go to the next level? Because we're always working on levels. Because again, it's like the ladder. So you're always going to the next level. Before you can go to the next level, are you ready for the next level? So HaKadosh Baruch will send the Yerida our way, right? We'll go down, we'll have a Yerida, and via the Yerida, we'll be able to then understand if we're on the ladder. We don't ask the questions, and we just keep doing what we have to do. We just do what we have to do. Whether it's a, if you don't feel like you want to dive in, but you just dive in anyway, you do it anyway. Right? Chazal say, Shemitaych loy lishma, boy lishma. Right, if I don't want to do it and I keep doing it regularly and I just keep doing it, me you'll come to do it with the right intent. And this is the main idea. The, the, the main idea is to have the ladder. Shako Mirames Allah and the foolish You want to lift up people, you want to lift up people and lift yourself up for that matter. Okay, you want to lift yourself up, you have to be on the ladder, you have to be on this program that we're talking about, and this is what we learn out, the idea from making the maka around the, 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 uh, your, your fence, your roof, and why? Because again, HaKadosh Baruch Hu granted you the house based on the mitzvah of Shiluah HaKan. The mitzvah of Shiluah HaKan is an amazing mitzvah, right? Right, what is it? You, you, you take the, you, 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 find, you find a nest, right, you find a nest, and, uh, and, uh, you see there's a, there's a mother bird there. So the mitzvah is you shoo away the mother bird 
and you take either the afrochim or the, the beitzim, you take either the little uh, uh, chicklings or whatever they call them, the little the fledglings, the little fledglings yeah. together, together, yeah. together with the or or the eggs, whichever one that's there, you take it, and that's how you mekayim the mitzvah of of, of, of shiluch hakai. It's a very deep zayadika thing to to understand that. But again, if the Torah said there's two mitzvahs, the mitzvah of kibud of the aim, right? And also when it comes to Shiloh HaKain, these two mitzvahs, the Torah gives us a, 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 a reward. It's unbelievable. But Rashi tells us that also that the other thing is that you get a physical thing that you build to build a new bias, right? And if you build a new bias, and Rashi says, so then that's a mitzvah, goyreris mitzvah. Mitzvah, goyreris mitzvah. So, so it's an amazing idea to understand, you know, soon we're going to be saying the slichas, right? We're already in, in Chaydish Elo. It's unbelievable, right? We hear the shayfer every day, right? Unbelievable. right? Unbelievable that we're saying that. You know, you know the, the, the biggest problem I, I, uh, that, that, that Renachman brings down that people have when it comes to doing tshuva is they don't know where to start, right? They don't know where to start, right? They're thinking that everything in my life is a mess, I don't know where to start, so if I don't know where to start, I won't bother starting at all. <laughs> People think it's such a mess, I can't even bother, that. forget about it, I can't, uh, it's not going to work. So Rabbi Nachman says, and we say, when we, like, yeah? But that's like if you have, like in physically, let's say your room is a mess, and and I don't want to uh, just leave it like that. Now the same thing with tshuva. Yeah. People would say, well, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't know where to start. So I won't do anything. That's right, that's right, that's right, exactly. But but so so Rabbi Nachman says like this. He says, you know, when we when we say the slichas, we say Mavi Risha and Rishan. Mavi Risha and Risha, Mavi Rechil and Slichal Khapar, right? We say those words. Mavi Risha and Risha. Remember saying those words in the slichas? Mavi Risha and Risha. So why does it say Risha and Risha? It should say Mavi Rishan. Why Risha and Risha? So Rinachman says an amazing idea. He says like this. He says, you know, it, when it comes time to making tshuva, you have to really compart- compartmentalize all of the different things in your life. You have to come right. So you have things, let's say, bein adam l'chaveiroi, bein adam l'amokayim, you have mitzvah, the things of, of, of Hilchah Shabbos, you have of tefila, right? You can make compartments of different things. And then you go through each compartment, and then you can systematically make tshuva on everything. If tshuva is just a big cholent, right? It's one big stew, right? And you don't have anything, you don't have anything organized, so you can't, you'll never do tshuva because it's such a big mess, you don't know where to start, right? But if, you, but, if you, but if you work on it slowly, right? You take one thing at a time, you take one thing at a time, you work on it steadfast, so then you will become successful. The same way, the same way that we, that we said that when it comes to someone that wants to start to learn the shas, right? So Rav Nassim says there are two types of people. One type of person goes, he says, okay, where's the shas? They show it to him, and they see, he says, uh, well, well, how many books is it? Uh, well, in the art school, it's like 70 books. Se- 70 yeah. books? 70 books? Ah, come on, that, that's ridiculous. I never read a book in my life. How am I going to do 70 books? Yeah, forget about it. Forget it. Forget it, he says, right? But Rav Nassim says there's another kind of guy. He goes over, and they say, okay, well, it's 70 books. He says, okay, but which is the first book? So you see, he takes out, they say, hey, brachis, right here. And it starts on page two. You see, it doesn't even start on page one. It starts on page two, right? Da base, right? And so he takes out da base and he learns the first bro- he learns the first uh, daf, and he finishes that daf, and he goes to daf gimel and dalit. And then when he's on daf gimel and dalit, he's not thinking about hey and vav, he's thinking about daf gimel and dalit, what, he, what he's on. He doesn't think ahead. He just keeps on, he just, I'm focusing on what I'm on right now. This is all I'm focusing on. Hayom. Hayom, Hayom, exactly. So if you do it like that, that person will surely finish us. That person, because he stays, right, right. he stays focused. He's focused. Right. He's not, he's not mixed up. He's not mixed up. And that's an, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing concept. Does anyone have any questions on this idea? These ideas so far, we're good? Okay. Yeah.